Today I'm making a pineapple upside down cake. This month, we're visiting the 1920s to try out the first pineapple upside down cake recipe from the 1926 cookbook, Hawaiian Pineapple as 100 Good Cooks Serve It. You can turn on subtitles by pressing the CC button, and if you'd like to try this cake at home, I'll be listing all of the ingredients and their measurements in the description under the video. To make this tropical classic, we will begin by sifting together our flour, salt, and baking powder, avoiding any messes if possible. Once the dry ingredients are sifted, set those aside and let us beat our egg whites. Continue beating until fluffy, stiff peaks form on the beaters. This should take no longer than a few minutes. That looks good. Now into the mixer we are adding the softened butter and creaming until smooth. Then, gradually begin adding the sugar until completely combined and pale. Next, we are adding in our two yolks and mixing to incorporate evenly. Now alternate between adding the dry mix and the milk to the mixer. And continue alternating until both have been completely used up. Add in the vanilla extract and, you guessed it, mix it in. Now carefully fold in the whipped egg whites a little at a time, trying to keep everything light and fluffy. Though it may have been a better idea to beat the egg whites right before mixing, as these have begun to harden. Once everything is fully mixed, melt some butter into a cast iron pan, making sure to evenly coat it, before evenly distributing the brown sugar all over the pan. Add drained pineapple rings to the pan, placing the slices closely together on the sugar in a pleasing pattern. And now the recipe says to add the cherries at the end. But I'm curious to see whether adding them in now will make a difference. So I'm adding a maraschino cherry in every other pineapple ring. Well, almost every other ring. Pour the cake batter over the fruit and spread it evenly. Bake in a moderate 360 degree oven for about 45 minutes. Then run a knife along the edges of the cake and carefully turn the hot pan upside down onto the serving dish. Placing the serving dish on top and then flipping makes this task much easier. Transfer any fruit stuck to the pan back onto the cake and garnish with the remaining cherries. And there you have it. Here is the classic pineapple upside down cake we made today. This cake looks incredible. The topping is nicely caramelized and golden and dripping down the sides. It's a very fluffy cake. Incredibly moist and soft. It has a nice buttery flavor like a pound cake and has absorbed a bit of that refreshing pineapple taste. I might recommend sticking to the recipe and adding the cherries at the end rather than baking them in. They taste the same and look more vibrant this way. A simple recipe in response to an appeal for original, practical ways to serve canned Hawaiian pineapple, pineapple upside down cake. The perfectly tropical treat for a summer gathering. Make this at home? Share your results with me on Instagram. Tag me at Michael with four H's. If you enjoyed this video or interesting vintage recipes, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and check out my Vintage Recipes playlist. I upload a Vintage Recipe the first week of every month. And if you'd like to watch another video, you can click that card over on the right. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you around. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you all next week.